Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to Workout of Change. Today, we're going to be talking about Chris Chan. So, I know you guys are wondering what's going on with uh, that individual. So, this person has been spotted back at their mother's house. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and give you the backstory. But before we do that, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like to. So, you guys may or may not know what has happened with Chris Chan, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit of a backstory. Chris Chan. Growing up, loved to do sauna chew, used to draw sauna chew stuff, always had a very bad relationship with women. As he continued to grow up, he was always what the people say he's autistic. He said he was autistic. So he continues to grow up. He starts to get a little bit stranger. He starts to get into some deviant um, corn, right? The more he starts drawing and uh, divulging himself into corn and in animated corn, um, as well as drawings of corn, uh, he continued to spiral further and further and further. And then after some time, he eventually got to the point where he ended up changing. Uh, he started going by Christine Chan, uh, decided that he likes to wear bras and sometimes he would wear his mother's underwear. And so he continued to spiral out of control until he got older and older. And then I believe his father passed away. And then after his father passed away, his mother um, also started to decline and started to have dementia. And then after his mother got dementia, Chris Chan was talking to a very disturbed individual um, where um, and she is uh, her story is still ongoing. But nonetheless, there was a conversation that came out between him and the individual named Bella, uh, where Chris eventually said that he was um, taking. He says that he was just having consensual intercourse with his mother, but it clearly would have been um, forced because his mother has dementia um, and he talked her into it. Uh, so after that time, once this got found out, the cops were called on him. It was all streamed. Um, his arrest was streamed, and he did go to jail, I believe, back in 2021. And then we made a video talking about how the case got dismissed. And then I said in my video, I hope that he never has to be around his mother again, Miss Barbara herself. And I think it would be terrible if the Virginia police let that happen. And here we are today. It has been released. His, he got obviously he'd been docked a long time ago, but his mother's address was put back online and Chris's vehicle has been at his mother's house. With that being said, that means Chris Chan is back around his mother who has dementia that he decided that he was going to have um, relationships with. Right. Here is the problem. If I want to go back and rewind a little bit more about Chris Chan's story, I'm not. Other stuff about Chris Chan is Chris Chan is very easily manipulated, right? He can easily, easily um, get pushed into um, doing things that aren't normal, right? Even the whole gender change, which Chris said was his own thing, making himself Christine. Um, but there was a lot of times where people would make him say homophobic remarks. There were times where people uh, would make him say that he was gay. Um, and there was times that people made him do just the craziest stuff. Right. So one time they made him drive all the way to Cleveland, which I believe was a nine hour drive to go see a girl that did not exist. So the problem is, is Chris Chan is very open to talking to people. And so with him being able to now be around his mother again, it's just going to take another troll or disturbed individual who wants to talk to Chris. And one thing I didn't mention about Bella, when Bella was talking to Chris, her main objective, and yes, she is a very, very sick individual. I will tell you one thing that will make you give some kind of glimpse on how sick she was. This woman was so sick that she used to overfeed her cat just to sniff the cat's farts. I'm not joking. She also would overfeed the cat and then let the cat poop all over her dorm room just because she liked the smell of it. It was so bad that she could, because she didn't wash her hands and she was always messing around with cat feces, eventually her hands and her nails just had a fungus on it. The fungus was so bad that she would have to rip her nails off and glue them back on. This is how disturbed of an individual that was talking to Chris. And as far as I know, this individual is still out, is not in prison. She, this individual is still living the world. So the problem is, is that because remember, when Bella was talking to Chris, Right. She was still living her normal life. Chris went to jail and then all this other stuff came out about her. So as far as we know, Bella is still roaming free. As far as I know, if I'm wrong, y'all can let me know. So with Bella still being out and Chris now also being out and being back with his mother, it is to me, it may just be a matter of time before they get back in contact. And another thing I didn't mention about Bella is that Bella's main goal and it's, I'm sorry to say this, but it's very sick. 
her main goal was to get Chris to self-delete himself, right? Her whole point was to get Chris to self-delete. And so to have this individual back out, who is obviously disturbed doing things with his mother, and to also have the other individual out, Miss Bella herself, who is main goal is to make Chris's life the worst thing possible. I don't see a scenario of how any of this can go well. I really hope and we don't know this. I hope we're not reading a story about three. I'm not making a video about three or four months from now talking about how something devastating happened to either Chris, something devastating happened to Bella or something devastating happened to uh, the mother or all three. I don't know where this is going to go. And I would I listen, I can't speak for the police. I think it'd be very easy for me to get on here and say that Chris, I mean, the uh, Virginia police is a terrible, terrible police department. Um, the lawyers and everything that went on are terrible people. And if something bad goes happen, we're going to be quick to jump on their back. I don't like doing that because I don't know enough about what's going on. But what I can say is that I'm very, very, very worried about what's going to happen. I do not see the Chris Chan story ending just with Chris just being his weird self because he's so easily manipulated and because Bella is still out and about and because his, uh, Chris's mom, remember, it's been two years since, I believe, well, either two years or a year ago he got arrested. She is only declining further. She has dementia. That doesn't get better. She is not going to get better over time. So it's only going to get worse from this point. I just wanted to update you guys to let you know what I think. Um, and I just don't see this scenario turning out well. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If I got any facts wrong, I apologize. The Chris Chan story is a lot, a lot of terrible stuff going on. So I apologize for that, but I did try my best. Hope you have a great day. <sighs> That's it.